every engineering or tech innovator had to start somewhere. All it took was a challenge and an idea. Given the right platform, a young innovator can be catapulted into success. Kyle Slater won the IET's Present Around the World competition in 2011, aged 25. I won the Present Around the World competition for a directional speaker called Soundbeam. Since then, I co-founded a company called Neura. Recently, we raised $2.5 million on Kickstarter, selling over 8,000 headphones. Kyle broke the record, becoming Australia's most funded Kickstarter, and it all came from one innovative idea. Like many of you, I love music, but I also love engineering. So I asked the question, how do you make the perfect headphones? And realised that the perfect headphones don't actually exist, only the ones that are perfect for you and your unique hearing. Nura's mission is to improve the quality of the music around you, and we will continue to innovate in that space. But how did he get here? What gives entrepreneurs their ideas? It all starts with a problem. For those working in aid organisations where resources are limited, it is critical that their supplied equipment is functional and durable. However, laptops are not designed for high ambient temperatures, and the resulting performance loss has a huge impact on the productivity and morale of their users. Current cooling methods are ineffective and inappropriate. Three Cambridge undergraduates had the answer. The idea for Hipster Ice came from searching for novel cooling technologies that are often overlooked in electronics cooling. The technology used in Hipster Ice is based on conduction cooling rather than convection cooling. We can't use fans in this context as it displays hot air around and doesn't cool the laptop very effectively. So where did this idea come from? What made three talented undergraduates want to solve it? The IET looks to push young innovators, not just reward them. The Global Challenge sets out a problem to make young engineers think outside the box. We've received fantastic support from the IET. They've helped us build our prototypes and put us in contact with aid organisations that are keen to test our products. With their support, we've been able to continue to develop Hipster Ice and even start our own company, Pembroke Innovations. Whoever you are, wherever you are, if you have the drive and passion, the IET offers new ways to challenge and push you to succeed. Every success story has a beginning. What will yours be?